everybody this is alexander fitzgerald or assassinato and today we are going to be doing some low stakes poker strategy here you have queen jack offsuit and an aggressive player is opened you are playing a five dollar to twenty dollar tournament what would you like to do here fold call or raise we decide to call here and the board comes ace jack jack check or bet That is time. We check here. And villain 72 bets one big blind. It's on you. Full color raise. Five seconds. That's time. We raise to 4.4 big blinds. Please compare your bet size to the one you see on the screen. Villain 72 goes ahead and calls. And please always specify your bet amounts. The turn is the five of clubs. Would you like to check or bet five seconds? That is time. We fire 13.3 big blinds into 14 big blinds. Compare your bet size to the one you see on the screen. And villain 72 goes ahead and calls. The river is the six of clubs here. Would you like to check or bet 10 seconds? Five seconds. That is time. If you did say B, how much did you say? We decided on this large anonymous American facing site to bet 58.8 big blinds into 40.7 and it was called. And our opponent had ace 10. So what's going on here? Why did we get that big river bet call? Well, 90% of your job is table selection. If you can find softer games, you can get away with these ginormous bets. You can make a lot of little mistakes as long as you don't mess up the big pots. The biggest bets, the entire game of No Limit Oldham is getting your opponent's chips. The biggest bets in the game are river bets. You're not going to secure your opponent's river bet through a bluff. You're going to need to value bet to get that river bet out of them. But the question is, how much do you bet? You, you want to make sure you're getting as much as possible. Giving away chips that could have easily been procured through a large value bet is just the same as making a bad call in the river. If you think about it, they're both costing you money. A buddy of mine pointed that out to me one time, and I, I, I really took it to heart because if you can secure these big pots, God, it helps you run deep in these tournaments. And then when you're on the bubble with all those chips, you can really push people around. People always ask me, how do I have all the chips on the bubble? It, or, or how do I bully the bubble? They always say that. And, Truly, if you want to bully the bubble, your move has to take place right here. You need to build up a huge chip stack that way deeper in the tournament. When everybody else has 30 to 50 big blinds and you have 70 big blinds, you can start check raising, three betting, double barreling, and all of those plays will risk all of your opponent's chips. Whereas if you go from 70 big blinds to 58 big blinds or 92 big blinds to 70 big blinds or 75 big blinds, it's not going to hurt your chances of winning the tournament that much, but it would really damage them to go from 30 big blinds to 70 big blinds or 13 big blinds or something like that because the chips are worth different amounts at that time. Now, the way we get the ball rolling, the way we start getting those big stacks together in tournaments, the way we get to abuse the bubble is we must get the money when it's right there for us. When a flush draw misses and it's an aggressive opponent and it's low stakes poker where nobody wants to fold and their most likely hand is a top pair and you know people don't want to fold top pair. If you want to lose a lot of money, try to get people to fold top pairs on the internet, especially in low stakes games. Outside of special circumstances, that tends to not work because people have no embarrassment factor when they're at home playing with their pajamas on. They can just click the call button and see what you have. So when our opponent is likely to have top pair, and that's their most likely hand, their most likely hand is either a missed hard draw, which is not going to pay us anything, 
or it's an ace, and it's far more likely to be an ace combination wise. And an ace just saw a flush draw miss, and boom, they have an excuse. The person, it, every man, in the words of JP Morgan, every man does anything for one of two reasons a good reason and the real reason. The good reason they'll give for calling this river bet, the flush draw missed. I thought he was on a flush draw. The real reason, they had top pair and they didn't want to fold it. When a flush draw misses and your opponent's most likely hand is a top pair, everybody says the same thing to me. Nobody folds my raises. Nobody folds my bets. Well, if that's true, you better be over bet bombing when you have it because they're not folding. When he bet calls on that flop and calls on that turn, he either has a heart draw or he has an ace. When the hard draw misses, it gives him a nice excuse to go ahead and call again. He's already got his mouse over the call button. Unless you shove there, he's probably not going to think. So if you just go a little bit over the pot, he still wants to see your hand. He might even say to himself, oh, that looks more suspicious now. I'm going to go ahead and call. And that is how we get the 158 big blind pot. Now let's recoup. Let's, let's, Review what we discussed today because there was a lot. What we need to execute this play. We need an opponent who most likely has top pair. We need a flush draw to miss. And we need this to take place in a low six game where people hate to fold. That's it. You put those three things together, you can get a lot of over bets called. All right, guys, that's my time for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you want to continue your poker study today, I put a free master class of mine in the information section of this video. I asked you guys what you wanted a full master class on. You told me you didn't know what to do with Ace King when you re-raised with it, missed the flop, continuation bet, and got your continuation bet called. So I made an entire master class on how to play Ace King, what to do with it in position, out of position, when you hit the flop, when you miss the flop. Go ahead and check that out. If you want to go deeper with your poker study, go to pokerheadrush.com. Poker headrush.com and sign up for my free daily strategic newsletter and you get three free training products just for signing up it's all free you get a guide on how to three bet attack players how to triple barrel bluff players you'll love it and if you want to talk to me about private lessons write me at alex at pokerheadrush.com and be sure to like comment subscribe all of that it really does help us all right guys that's my time for today I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you for the next one of these. Good luck to you if you're playing today. Take care.